Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem Free Houses, where last episode, after getting ourselves another hero's relic, in, of course, Gilbert and Annette's lovely paralogue, forcing us to use Divine Pulse, we now move forward to, well, we've got another battle segment. We could ignore it at the end of the Guardian movement because protecting Garag Mac, our actually chapter-ending battle, is about to come up. But we could, first of all, use our stuff to take on a battle in the mountains, first and foremost. Because, let's face it, Red Beast... They might give us some good stuff. I think we've got like three weapons that we cannot make yet. So, you know, maybe I can get a fourth weapon that I cannot make yet. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Maybe, just a little? Sure. <laughs> I never have the material to make four weapons. Not the right I slay beast. Let's put it that way. So we begin the battle in the mountains yet again. What mountains? Is it those mountains? No, it's these mountains. Oh, God. I don't like the look at this at all. Where's the demonic beast? Well, it's not behind me. That's fine. Where is it then? Up the very top? Okay. So we've got the King of Wings again. He's got another rusted bow, but that's a silver bow. So technically this boss doesn't really give me anything I really, really want. And only has one HP bar. Strength 16, attack speed of 25. To be honest, he's crap. And probably will get slain outright by the bandits that are around. Who can hit for a hell of a lot more. 37. Low hit rates, but big damage. And of course, we don't have our super defensive friends anymore to be able to get in and save us from the problems, <laughs> the troubles we have. This is literally the last map we just did in a kind of battle-y sense. So how do I work on taking these guys out first? They've got a movement of five, one, two, three, four, five, so they can attack to there. They haven't got tomahawks or anything, so technically we could run up there with someone like an Annabelle and take one down. And we could bow the first one of these. But then we still get hit by the second one, for example, if we were to go in with Petra. We do have Inglid down this side, though, still trying to... Did she actually master out this thing? I think she... No, she very nearly has. And then we've got Dimitri as well, who wants to master Paladin, but he'll get there in the end. Someday. Everyone's defense isn't exactly terrible. They can take at least one shot on. We've got Wyvern Lord Ash now, who's hoping to get some more defense growth. He's at 20 at the moment. And in the meantime, we've got... Ah... The real terror of the skies. Being able to reach more or less everyone on this map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So whoever we send in is likely liable to get destroyed by what's going on there. We've got Gilbert fielded on the map, for goodness sake. That's weird to me. So let's start our session yet again with another warm-up battle. Shall I get Hilda out? Because Hilda's just a little bit more tanky, crunky, smacky, dip wacky. Gets him down quite nicely. Then a Gilbert. And then we will give you Gilbert as your support so that you can gain more stats. The Cephia's like, will you ever use me even though you've adjutanted me? And we're like, no. That's the way it's got to be. Who do I keep Lysithia with, I wonder? Who's liable to get more experience here? And then we'll have Satef with someone? No, Bernadetta is the other one we've been training, of course. Of course, Bernadetta can't follow around Ash ever. No one can follow around Ash ever. That works for my adjutants. Wait, am I allowed two adjutants? Oh. What? That was clever of me. I gave you a Lysephia a second ago. And then I just switched you off again. I'm just thinking of who's going to be doing most of the battling, and it's those guys, really. Oh, I can hang out with you there, Bernadette. We can gain some more support, Bernie. Any other thing I'd like to change is I'd like to change you to the back row, because, let's face it, certain someone's got a lot more defense. And he's got a fair bit of attack speed as well, so he doesn't get doubled by Peg Knight over here. In fact, he nearly doubles the Peg Knight. If we get a net to stay on this side, or do we get Mercy to go over? Because we can get a net to come up and destroy this guy. Or we could get Felix to do it via bow. 
But Wynette has actually been getting massive amounts of experience to be level 35 and all. Let's get Petra over there then, and Ingrid over here. I think that'll work out for fighting these guys, don't you? Let's hope to never use a Divine Pulse again, but... But, the worry's always there. Alright, you're the thing I fear. Let's put it that way girl. right now. Annette's our girl, however, so Annette should be able to fate through to a ton of people. The question I'd is, who do we get to kill that guy? What's the plan? Do we stick you in the bushes? I think with your skill with weapons as a whole, you should be able to like take these guys down. It's actually a lot lower hit chance than I thought it would be. Your axes are technically better. This guy can hardly barely hit you. So we're gonna hope Sylvain comes out with an incredible win. I was just stronger. He's about to hit his class mastery too. Just to point it out. I don't know if I want you to wait. I want to see this guy's stats. He's got silver lance. Okay. I think you should be fine to tank both of them. What's my strategy? My strategy is to run in and destroy these people as quickly as you can because they can't hit you. Good plan? It's over. And because you're going to critical. Good plan. It won't be in vain. Good time there. Is this when we send you in to kind of finish up the rest because you don't have those hit penalties? You can get out again if you want to after all. Oh, we can bow you too. With 100 hit rates, sure. Why not? It's my duty. Ash is having his good times. So it looks like everyone's going to be trying to kill Sylvain. Mainly because that's the hook that they can reach. However, it's 7 damage with a barely any hit and a 4 damage with barely any hit. Sylvain's going to have a good time on this next turn, I think. Shall we? Not a worry in the world for Sylvain. So this side's dealt with for this turn fairly easily. Thanks. Hilda. And then Nanette can start getting some more experience together. In the I meantime, it's time to start advance over there. Now, it's these two that, you know, worried about positionally. And I'm pretty sure that we can still bow kill that guy without any issue whatsoever. You are in my way. Especially when everyone's in Petra's way. Witness Bridget Pride. Well, Seth, you leveled up in the back party. Not there yet. Well, you do have a lot of mag. You wouldn't write yourself off just yet. So our Ready next problem you is are. you, and that's because of the steps. So you've got 21 defense currently, but that might be because of sports as well. Versus these guys that are going to come in and pretty much maul anyone that steps forward here. The question is how far you can backtrack. Dimitri's actually at 22 defense now. At your service. At your service. I don't really think she can step back, so when she goes in, she's going to have to fight pretty much everyone here. Though their hit chances don't seem that great on her. So that works for me. Just depends if she gets hit on this turn. Which would have been nicer when you think about it, because Mercy could have gone and healed him. I aim for greatness. And we master skills of Paladin! Effort truly does pay off in the end. We got the ability Aegis. Whatever that is. She cannot move again. That's a bit of a shame. No one else can reach further. So we'll get Mercy up to that spot. A little bit of extra experience for her. I didn't even scap it. Skip anything. And it all of a sudden just totaled up the experience without any issue. I'll cut through. Alright, let's see how Ingrid does against those first two. Especially because she doesn't need any class mastery anymore. But she's going to be getting those hits. Remember guys, always save your criticals until the second attack. I shall not stray. I 
I must continue my training. Hey, you're a paladin. You're supposed to get strength. Obviously, reclassing, you broke everything in terms of what we needed there. I really thought she was second attack critic here. You took me lightly. So Vayne's gonna have a little bit of fun here. All for our future. As he maxes out Paladin 2 for another Aegis. I need to put this to use. Of course, we can't promote here, can we? Oh no, we can! Haha! It's gonna be a Dark Knight by the next battle. For reasons. Right, so now we've got two people on the field who we don't want to use because they've class mastery. And then we've got this guy, who's a bit of a worry. One damage. Steve didn't last very long. Well, he broke a little bit of the stuff by the look of it. Right, it's our turn to choose who we want to kill at any point in time. Hilda, how well do you hit this person? And will you not get doubled? Because if you don't, then I'm quite happy for you to take this kill. I guess we need to start advancing on these guys. Who's got a black sass. Physic as well. And... Nos. Man, they're screwed. It's too bad we can't send Ash all the way up to deal with them. Do you have a better hit chance with your axe? Don't get used to this. She's very pink. She's, she's saying don't get used to her being on the actual battlefield. I don't know. <laughs> yep, I'm stronger now. Yes, you do have incredibly high strength. Though. Speaking of who might be the beast of our party here. So we have 21 res Ash, who can easily approach, not get doubled. It's 20 defense, so that guy's, what is it? 25 attack, meaning that no matter what, Ash is perfectly designed to not only solo that guy, but not be too bad against either caster, really. Let's face it, they're not going to attack him. They're going to attack the bird. That's just the way things work. So how do we approach this? Hilda, do you want to get some items? No, what? you should be getting some items here, Sylvain. I've got a way to walk. There's not actually that many enemies on the map when you look at it. This is going to be a pretty short one. Unless I make it longer. Just take all these rusted iron things that I can forge later. Can't even go anywhere. Ah, oh, nice. Was that heal at a two range? I don't even know. Alright, that's our max range for enemies here. We've got bandits with a ton of attack all around. Do you have a special weapon? No silver axe as well. Well, at least we get to claim that bullet of any issue. So really, we want to just pull these one by one. There's no reason for us to uh, rush them. Shall I let Petra take the hits then? Petra's not going to die to any of them, that's for sure. She's got the attack speed to just be able to face them with the greatest of ease. 18 hits, but... Hey, what, 18 attack, but 5% chance to actually hit Petra. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's happening. Who needs a heal? You saved me. You saved me. Has taken one damage from her HP. Because she leveled up. I fight for justice's name. I quite like. I think the attack animations for the enemy attacking you versus you attacking the enemy are majorly better. Is that just me? The kind of counter attack it does is really good. Oh, this just guy just gave up his life. Oh, he dodged. Ah. Expecting the bird to crit on the second attack then. Wait, where are you running off to? They're all like, quick, attack the bird! Alright, 
The guy got his broken shield back up. Now, how am I dealing with this, exactly? Because I really don't think this guy can do much damage to Ash. Two. So, it looks like we need to kill both spellcasters before the other guys get there equally. I obviously want to pull on this one. And get as close as I can to getting to the boss before the boss gets killed by Big Bird. Would be a thing. Except you're not very good at walking up steps. Maybe I should have dismounted you before taking you on a journey. I don't know. And horses, they have problems with steps, you know. Well, Petra's ready to go. I don't think anyone else is. How many got 16 defense? What's with me? Alright, by look of it then, I should start taking out these guys one by one. Because I want no caster that can do damage to me to be existent. Thank you. I won't falter. Without power, who can you protect? A bit more defensive power is what I'm after. Right, where do I move you to based on... This guy's going to attack Big Bird, which means... Yeah, I'll just go there. I don't want him doing a big AoE attack, but that guy's going to attack Big Bird. He's going to die to Big Bird. And then from there, different people will come under attack. That's just how the way it's going to work now. So I think Ash will just patrol the skies on his own and lonesome for now. I might actually have to go along and ping that boss to death as well. Not for myself, for everyone. Thank you very much. What stats have you gained for everyone? For Bridget, I find strength to carry on. She's more charming. Right, he decided that this side would have a better chance of doing zero damage. And has died. Right, where's Big Bird going? Yeah, I thought you might. Right, he's not going to kill the Bandit King. Or whatever you want to call him. But that means I have to kill him if I want the bullion. I think Ash is still fairly well positioned to be able to nick this kill from Big Bird. Oh, look, we're working together now, Big Bird. It's me and you, bud. We're just going to hang out together. Kill some bandits, it's fine. I'm still here. Alright, I got the bullion. Send that away. Alright, you're doing an AoE, which I think we actually moved out of range of. No, we are in range of it? I don't even know. Probably, probably not. Yeah, I think we are. But it shouldn't do super damage to me no matter what, I think. This is where it's actually super effective against flying people. So you can only ever do 9... Petra, we'll get you near. I think you're the best follow-up we have currently going. I think Ash is just going to get spell nuked a little bit. However, he's 1 HP down, so let's make sure he gets a little bit extra. You're a big help. Serious business. Uh, we'll just mill about. Chill over here, guys. We're, we're good. It's the Ash and Petra show this map. How much damage will this actually do? If it even hits. Yeah, that's that's the real question, wasn't it? Ash is 34, Petra's 34. Just wondering, can we actually break this guy's shield in two goes? Probably not because of positioning. And we can gambit that line down. How much damage do you actually do to Petra? Six on a 46. 
my avoidance is taking a heavy hit. What's the Gambit's percent chance? 85. I think I had two straight line Gambit's. So I could break him. But then he'll be very angry! She has a plan. Didn't get any gambit boost with her. Uh, me then. Oh! <laughs> Zoop! That's not what I intended to do. All of a sudden, Zoop. But equally, all of a sudden, I can't gambit from here? You're kidding me. I knew it was lure, but I didn't think I was going to pull that thing. An ambitious plan. This should do it. I should probably kill him on this turn then. Because the idea of me doing that attack was it was going to gambit and attack whoever's over there. But now they're both on the same side, which is not what I wanted. But mid-four times three was probably very well worth it. Wouldn't you say? So now he's got attack speed up with dark and blow. Oh, I can move, can I? I can move up here. Yeah, attack me up here. Slightly off map. In the meantime, in your rear end, someone's come to say hello. We still gauntlets? Punch him in the butt? I don't know. I think just normal swords will do just fine, right? Second attack critical. Got ourselves another silver bird. Send it back to the convoy. Well, that battle wouldn't take too long, but I got some different. Battle in the mountains. Turn five. Complete. Nice and easy. MVP was Ash. Who'd have guessed? Handsome older Ash. I think his freckles accentuate his face. He's got a good haircut. It's grown a lot taller. All our men must be over six foot after all. Right then. Let's continue on. This brings us to the end of our month. Chapter 14's battle is about to commence. What is going to happen at Garrick Mac? Do I have any more teaching to do? I don't think so. No, I have a birthday. It's Gilbert's birthday. Sure, let's host a tea party. Mint leaves. What do you like the most, sir? Speak up. Let's give you this cost-efficient tea, which is a mixture of herbs. It's a tad bitter. Even commoners have tried it. I'm honored to be invited. We'll give you commoner tea. Commoner tea is good tea. You have my gratitude. No problem. Can't label it commoner tea. It sounds like it's a bad oh, thing. Delicious. He likes it. Let's commoner tea. Indeed. So, are you overcoming weaknesses? Do you think you're doing great work? I say you're doing great work. Persecution complex. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought that wouldn't work, but I thought, like, overcoming weaknesses might also bring up the stuff that he's These all worried about. Good leaves. They're good leaves, though. He likes the leaves. What? All right. Give me a word of advice. Oh, oh okay. The conversation got lively. What? Right, what about cooking Miss Subs? He's good at cooking. Reliable allies or heart racing memories. <laughs> what about tell us about the time you met Annette's mum? Is that really true? I don't know. Did you meet Annette's mum? Do you not even know yourself? <laughs> well, I tried. I knew that was the wrong answer. Thank you for the invitation, Professor. Please call me again anytime. Well, he wants my commoner tea still. And so something's taking place on a Friday. Is this something with our delusional prince? You're wrong. It's not like that, Glenn. I swear it. 
Any love I once had for my stepsister has been tossed aside. Only hatred remains. If I could tear that woman to shreds right this very moment, I would! I don't care if she's the Emperor. It's no different than killing anyone else. So I beg you, all of you, do not worry about my resolve. Please, Father, and you too, Stepmother, do not gaze at me with that look in your eyes. I will bring you her head soon, and when I do, you may finally rest in peace. I know it. Yes, I know it. Okay. What is troubling him? I think we heard everything that's troubling. Should we just get to the tough love? I don't know. Telling someone who's in midst of delusions to snap out of it doesn't exactly seem that great either. Should we just try to speak it out with him then? I don't know. He's talking to himself. He's talking to the spirits of the dead. What do you want? I... <laughs> I came to check on you. I see. We should make haste and prepare to move out at once. I must kill her as soon as possible. Well, we must first prepare. We have no time to leisurely set up camp. If I must, I will go by myself. Pardon the interruption. We must prepare a counterattack at once. The Imperial Army has caught wind of our position. It would seem they were patrolling this place after all. The Imperial Army, is it? Well, well. <laughs> Your Highness, I ask that you please refrain from reckless behavior in battle. It would seem the report that the Knights of Syros have returned was accurate. This is going to take some effort. Brother, I heard a rumor that there is a vicious murderer among our enemies. Well, who knows if there's any truth to it. Though I admit we have lost some soldiers recently. Whether he's among them or not, taking on the Knights of Seros is extremely dangerous. You're not ready for the front lines, Flesh. Stay in the back and support us from there. Understood? No! I want to stay with you! I have to- I need you to understand, Flesh. I will come back, I promise. Fine. I trust you, brother. Please, be safe. All units? Prepare to attack! I see we're about to make someone hate us in the same way we hate a certain someone. Quite possibly. I think I see where that's going, Dimitri. This guy seems quite upstanding! He looks all pure! And by the look of it, we're gonna bring him low. I don't think there's any certifications to do, but should we try out uh, our special version of Sylvain here? I don't know. We've got some supports that have shown up now. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden they pop up yet again after like one more battle. Like going along to the A's for some supports before we actually fight. We can watch too. And of course we need to do them, otherwise we don't generate any more things. But apart from that, it's reclass time. Ingrid can now go up. To full Falcon Knight, gain tons of lovely stats too. What stats do you gain? Deck speed, all the goodness. Yeah, take that. I choose to believe in my potential. And you can take on your Dark Knight form now, and uh, for some reason, you'll lose one strength though. But to be honest, you still gain more stats. You actually lose one movement to be honest, and you lose Lance Fair. So you lose your lance bonuses. So it's kind of like, is that even really any good choice to him? I mean, may as well get him maxed out on it. Find out. Different road, same destination. I'm not quite sure. Technically, that's your end destination, so... Whatever you say, sir. Felix is still trying to get to something. What are you trying to get to again? Oh, yes. We are trying to get you to... Though you haven't, of course, learnt your current ability anyway. Right, Dimitri still needs to master Paladin in time. And then we need to get him something else, whatever it is. Ollie's is gonna have a... Have you mastered Swordmaster yet? I can't remember now. No, still not! 
Well, this is going well. We just want to master that so then I can use my spells for days. It's really fun being in Enlightened World. One day we'll get you there. So Dimitri could go Paladin for a bit and just knock that out quickly as well. I can even take a chance at Hero. Do I want to recl reclass him back over to Paladin for the time being? He's 50 away. He actually gains a lot of nice stats. High Lord gives him a lot of uh, speed by the look of it. Yeah, bloomin' hell. Didn't realise it gave him that much. And we could get him maxed out on Paladin, so he's Aegis. That said, of course, we've got to check out Aegis as well and see what that does. Felix's master class is now a 94% possibility for completion. He will gain one base value magic. And that's about it. But one base value is better than nothing. Soon he will look like this. Easy. Alright, we will not transform you yet. You're good where you are. You've got to max out Swordmaster, which really isn't that far out either, to be honest. So, you'll be moving onwards to Mortal Savant. We've got... Ash is just getting through stuff, really. Sylvain is there. Mercedes is in her master as well. But then I might want her to learn... What was it that Annette mastered? Yeah, in the intermediate. We might want Annette to master... Was it just mage? Simply because what was that? Didn't that give her the extra magic attack damage? So Mercedes might be interested in that. As in might, as in yeah, very. That would be very nice. You've got a knowledge gem, don't you, Wallace? So that's good. Ingrid's got a knowledge gem. Should I trade that over at the moment? Ah, so much to think about before you go on mission every time. And Petra, where's she at currently? Wanna think about it? It's because she falls so down far this list now. She was so high up our list before, and now she's massively down on it. So you're still quite a bit off of Assassin. And you're trying to go towards Wyvernish kind of route by the look of it. 12% odds of passing currently. Not exactly that great, does it? Yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. Hilda can become a Falco Knight, can you? So you're still trying to learn. Have you actually still not mastered that class yet? 28 for a brigand. See, she could class up a lot. Actually, looks harder than you'd think to actually class her up. Just wondering what base value modifiers we would get, if any. None. No, two res. Two res again. She really doesn't get many base value modifiers, does she? Let's just have her take this exam. Give her a shot at it, because she gets some extra base stats. It's never bad. She got it. I give it two extra res. Ha oh, shucks! I guess I did it. All right. Well, one day you'll be able to go to different classes, but that day is still a long way off. I don't know what Gilbert can class into the moment he's already got like a high one equip. We'll leave it at that for like the reclassing. For now, I'll just keep Dimitri as his ridiculously lordy self. Wondering if I actually need to buy anything anywhere at this point. So we've got tons of supports. We've got new abilities. Aegis. Aegis. Chance to reduce bow magic damage by half. Trigger percent equals dexterity stat. So like 20-ish percentage. Interesting ability. I like her dying blow though. That's what I really like. Haha. -ha. That's what the good stuff it is. So you've got that. See, I really don't think you need seal movement because everything you attack, you kill. 
That's just what happens when you fight things. Give you some extra decks, or should I just give you, like, Axe Breaker so you can destroy axes as well as swords now? Because you are quite good at your swords too. Yeah, it works for me. Alright, let's get some of these supports down before we move on to our mission here. So, Felix is an A support with Ingrid. Why are you taking over my cleaning responsibilities? Why are you complaining? You're wounded, and you're going too slowly. I couldn't stand to watch. You're still fretting over me, are you? I'm fine now, really. It wasn't even serious. I could have handled the situation alone. That enemy wasn't much of a threat. Yes, yes, we all know you could have. But I also didn't want to risk something unforeseen befalling you. I've been doing some thinking. I feel a bit lost. I don't know that I'm cut out to be a knight after all. Without fulfilling that dream, without being a knight, I've been asking myself where my place is in the world. And I think... I think I've found my answer. I don't want to lose anyone anymore. So I want to protect those I hold dear. That's why you are protecting me, huh? What a fool you are. Foolish to act in line with what I value most? Were I to die, I would die knowing I followed my heart, my truest calling. I've been reading through more of that book I was telling you about. Recall the hypothetical question it posed? Do you carry out the orders, or protect your hometown? You've been reading that garbage again? The book never specified that one should prioritize the commander's orders. Instead, it suggested that one should follow their heart in the matter. That's what a knight, that's what anyone being true to themselves should do. That's just the editor's opinion. Of course, and I find value in that opinion. Glenn died following his heart, not heeding the commands of the country or even the royal family. His death pains me to this day. It was a tragedy. But had he survived, I think he would have suffered. I will follow his example. No matter the outcome, no matter the circumstance, I believe in myself. <laughs> you know nothing. What is it that you know then? What is it you fight for, Felix? My own beliefs. I see no difference from my own stance. You don't understand. You fight to be stronger than everyone. That you might protect those you care for, correct? Okay, fine. You do understand. My point is, don't let this happen again. If you died, I'd be... annoyed. To avoid annoyance, then, I suggest you continue to grow stronger. If that happens, I might allow you to protect me, too. <sighs> You're insufferable. He must be strong to protect everyone. But if someone's getting hurt, then he's failing, so therefore he gets his fawny personality? I don't know. Felix and Ingrid have attained support level A. An interesting one, as Ash now has his support with Annette, Petra, and Gilbert. Ash is always popular, and with his new look, I'm sure he will be. That's why he's attached the attention of Gilbert. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work, and you will certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. One learns the craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow, 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course! It's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. 
Don't be modest. You're a great knight. If there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield, and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I, um, well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight, but for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own, yet mine, I do not speak of. Oh, how come? Because it is personal, mine. It allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh. Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. I mean, Ash, the answer is quite simple. Those people you've spent ages building up all these bonds with. Well, let's continue on with Ash. Who do we do next? Annette or Petra? They're both at an A tick. I don't know what to call it. Like your first part of an A by the look of things. Let's go with Annette. Lucky that we were assigned to clean this ancient tower. Well, it's not a pleasant job, but someone has to do it. With all the windows boarded up, it's so dark. And there are strange noises. Like that noise. What was that? A rat. Tell me it was a rat. B better than a ghost. You're not scared of ghosts, are you, Ash? I didn't think you'd be. You haven't seen what I've seen. Oh no! What was that noise? It, it, it's okay. It's just the wind blowing the door shut. Oh no! The latch is rusted. It won't budge. What? You mean we're trapped in here? I'm sorry. I didn't think to prop the door open. Don't worry about that now. We need to think of a way out of here. Well, what if we were to pry the boards off the windows? Yes, that! We can do it in no time. Oh! Uh, there's something on my face! Calm down, Ash! It's a cobweb! Just a cobweb! We've got to pull ourselves together. Now, which of the windows should we check? Uh, I can't stand it here in the pitch dark! Oh, I've got one here! Stand back! Oh, we made it! I wouldn't want to go through that again. For a moment there, I didn't think we'd make it out alive. No, oh, wait! I've lost it! It's gone! What is it? The doll my father gave me. Oh, I must have dropped it. In the tower? Are you going back for it? No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I've been meaning to throw it out for a while now. Are you sure? If it was a gift from your father... Yes, but it can't be helped. Let's just get back to the monastery. Uh, right. Yes, it can be helped. It's not like it's anything important at all. Well, we know we're obviously going back to that tower. So they've attained a support level of A, have they? Does it count as an A? I guess it does. Like a, a partial A. Oh, I look at things. Obviously, it will give them a little bit of a boost. As another gifted sub comes in, thank you, PJ. With that, we move on to Petra and Ash. Over here, Petra. I'm gonna teach you the ways. Teach you the ways. Ash, I do not have familiarity with this alley. That's all right. This is the place I was talking about. It's not much to look at, but the food's incredible. Here you are, friends. Enjoy your meal. Mm, looks great. Let's dig in. Okay. I will be giving this my try. Oh! It has a delicious flavor. Ash, what is this dish being called? Uh, I'm not sure it has a name. They just kind of throw together whatever they've got. 
But that means you never eat the same dish twice. Not knowing what you'll get is part of the fun. A dish of infinite varieties? You would not be finding such a wonder in a restaurant for nobles. A commoner technique indeed. I give you my gratitude, Ash. I have learned a great many things about the commoner techniques. No need to be so formal. I like showing you around. Not many people want to come to places like this. But I am feeling that our deal has been very... one-sided. Are you sure you are not needing anything in exchange? If you are not wanting any curses, I can offer other information in trade. Hey, come on, stop that. Stop that? What am I stopping? Talking about payment. You don't owe me anything. We're friends, aren't we? Friends don't pay each other for the time they spend together. You and I... are friends? Are you speaking truth? I hope so, at least. So why don't we just talk about whatever we'd like, okay? I have understanding. I will now be speaking whatever I wish. You are my friend. There are many things I am wishing for you to know. Okay, what things do you wish Ash to know? What is she going to tell Ash? We're going to have to bond them up some more to find out in the future. That's Ash done! Now Sylvain moves on with Femelles in his sights again. Mercedes to an A support. Is this about making those crest babies? I don't know. Mercedes, you're looking divine as always. Good evening, Sylvain. Thank you for coming out to see me. Just the two of us meeting at this time of night? You move quicker than I thought. Hmm? I don't know what speed has to do with it, but there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Ah, okay. I probably should have figured that out. I can be so forgetful at times. I neglected to mention this the other day. I meant to say that I know you've been through a lot in this life. Huh? Me? Your parents have placed a great deal of pressure on you as their heir. And it's all because you were born with a crest. You've had to put up with such lofty expectations. All of the kingdom's noble houses expect a lot from their heirs. I'm no different from any other noble guy or gal. We've all got responsibilities. But didn't you mention that your brother envied you enough to wish you dead? I'm sure that wasn't easy. Thinking about it, life was probably a lot harder for my brother than it ever has been for me. Didn't you also mention that women were only interested in having your, as you say, crest baby? I'm not very interested in the particulars, but... I get the feeling that you don't care very much for these women who throw themselves at you. Um, I'd appreciate it if maybe you kept that observation between the two of us. Your secret's safe with me. I understand the pain you've had to carry. I know you've got your share of bad memories too, but... That's why you feel comfortable letting your guard down around me. Come now, that's enough with the sad smile. Mercedes. Was my sad smile really that bad? Did it ruin my dashing good looks? Not at all. You actually look more handsome to me with honesty on your face. <laughs> Aw, here come the waterworks. Don't be ashamed of crying. I'm here to protect you. Will you protect me in return? I will, I promise. You know, Mercedes, you really are a special lady. Well, that was a a bit closer than the other A sports we've been getting thus far. <laughs> Set the sail, folks. What the ship is off? The ship has embarked. That was interesting. Mercedes saying the right things, and you're right. Doctor Psychologist Supreme Mercedes was in the house there, saying exactly what Sylvain needed to hear. Well, Sylvain, I don't think Lysephia can top that. Lysithia, I have to say, you're really impressive. I respect you a lot, and I thought I should tell you. Uh, okay? It's just, you know, you're four years younger than me, but you work really hard at everything. I mean, when I was your age, I wasted all my time just goofing off and doing whatever I wanted. Doesn't look like much has changed for you since then. And unlike you, 
I don't have time to waste, so leave me be. Are you going to do some extra magic training? I'd be happy to join you, if you don't mind. What do you want to start with? I am absolutely disinterested in spending any time with you. What is it you want anyway? Clearly, you haven't been listening to a word I've been saying. Perhaps it's because I'm younger, you see fit to ignore me when I speak. Is that it? What? No. Age has nothing to do with it. You're amazing. You're true to yourself. You know what you want and who you are. Not a lot of girls I know can say that. Ah, so it isn't my age that's to blame for you breezing over my wishes. It's my gender. I... what? Where did you get that idea? I'm just trying to praise your smarts and hard work and everything. It's impressive how someone so young... Your lack of self-awareness is deeply troubling. What I'm aware of is you trying to pick a fight. Calm down, kiddo. Look, I'm really busy. Super, extremely, inordinately busy. I've got one last thing to say to you. And what would that be? I'm skilled with magic, and my abilities are finely honed. It's not like I need someone for target practice. No, but I do. <laughs> and you're the target now, let's <laughs> I'll be spending all my magical spells your way, now I'm a dark knight. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a... Yes, we forgot how much the sea supports are quite full on. Forgot about that. We were getting to the nicer side of the track, weren't we, after building up everything. And, uh, yeah, we've got how the sea supports are, like, uh, walking into its very own special kind of emotional minefield. Just a bit. Right, Mercedes still has some more supports. This time with Hilda. Building up more with Hilda. Goodness, Hilda, you look worried. Is something the matter? Oh, Mercedes. I was on my way to the greenhouse to water the flowers. But I have a meeting with the professor right now, so I'll have to be quick. It must be urgent to call you at this hour of the morning. Go see what the professor needs from you. I can take care of the flowers. Oh, are you sure? Thank you so much. It's no problem at all. Let me take the water from you. Thank you again. I'll see you at lunch. Right. I'm off. Oops, my meeting with the professor was tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Mercedes. Hmm, still no Mercedes. All she had to do was water a few plants. I didn't think it would take this much time. It's almost noon. Maybe I'll go see what she's up to. And that's the last of that. Perfect. What's taking you so long? Oh, Hilda. Is your meeting with the professor over already? Um, yes. It's almost lunchtime. What are you still doing here? Lunchtime? I hadn't realized how late it was. After watering the flowers, I noticed that the greenhouse was in need of some tidying. I must have gotten a bit carried away. It's so pleasant working in here. Oh, pleasant. Sure. You're such a kind person. No, no. It was my pleasure. Anyway, shall we head to the dining hall? Oh, I should have just done it myself. Waiting for her was so exhausting. What was that, Hilda? Come along, I'm hungry. Uh, coming. What should we eat? Well, the great manipulator seems to have stumbled a little bit there. Annette, next for our support showdown. We do have another one with Gilbert, which is what I was trying to build up all this time. However, the A's seem to have those special elastics over them as well. But let's continue on the Hilda takes advantage of everyone show because we're still looking for that someone that will just say no. Really? Hilda, I'm coming in. Hey, Annette. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> oh, wow. It really is messy. I'm not sure there's even enough room to breathe. <sighs> I haven't been tidying lately. I start to procrastinate when I'm busy. Oh. Hey, how about I clean up for you? 
Really? That would be amazing! So, are you good at cleaning? I love it! Actually, the messier a room is, the more determined I get to conquer the crud. Works for me. I'll leave you to it. Don't want to get in your way. Great! See you later! <laughs> Annette? Oh no, my face! Oh my goodness, I am so, so sorry! I'll clean it up right... <laughs> Not again! The, 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 there was a big bug! So big! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Annette, do something! Wait! Not magic! I don't want you to burn my room down! I'm so terribly sorry, Hilda! I wanted to clean up for you, but I basically did the opposite! No kidding. I guess it was my fault for getting you to clean up my mess. At any rate, you've made such a mess of my mess, now I feel motivated to clean my own room. So that's kind of a positive outcome. I guess that's one way to think of it. You know, I really do admire your can-do attitude. Although it might be, uh, too much. You don't want to overextend yourself. For one thing, you'll tire yourself out. Based on what I just saw, you might even get hurt. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I've been like this my whole life. I've never wanted to let anyone down. My parents, my uncle. So I always try to give it my all. And it's taken me this far, at least. I guess so. But going all out to please others, never thinking of yourself, that's no way to live. So you say? But you fell into Annette's trap. Uh, her clumsiness has brought your downfall, Hilda. And you've lost your vows and more. And now to clean up your own room. Annette played the game. It's time Annette and Gilbert. What's wrong, Father? I didn't expect you to summon me. I carved this on a whim. I wish for you to take it, Annette. A wooden doll. You used to make these for me when I was a child. I still do it. When the mood strikes. <laughs> it's so cute. It's... Wait. No. What do you want from me? I want nothing. I was carving and... I thought of you. I remembered how happy you would be as a child when I handed one of these dolls to you. I was back then, but I'm not a child anymore. It's too late for this now, Father. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Annette. I... I was so lonely after you left. I was always, always alone. I didn't know where you were or who to turn to for comfort. All I could do was look at the dolls you carved for me and remember you and weep. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. It is all the same in the end. I am sorry, Annette. I should have given more thought to my actions. Father, wait! No, this won't do at all. It would be better to throw this doll away. You are too cruel, Father. Of course I... I could never throw it away. Interesting order we watch them in when you think about it. In that sense, another gifted sub comes in. Thank you very much, Paul. Because when we, we just lost her old doll and just got a new doll. Not too long after. Was it the same doll? I do not know. But it's interesting to see their relationship still building. But we've got two more ticks to go up on that. So we're going to try and build that up, I think. I think this is one of the more... This is one of the sports I really want to see when I think about it on a list of things. England and Benedetta are about to reach their final support, so let's check that out. Ah, there you are. I just checked your room, but obviously you weren't in there. Oh, you, um, you didn't break the door down again looking for me, did you? Of course not. I'm not unreasonable. I just wanted to discuss something with you. Discuss? Is that really all? Okay, I can handle that. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for breaking down your door. I'm sorry. It was perhaps a bit rash. 
There was a period of time, quite a while ago, when I acted much the same as you. I spent many hours locked away in my own room. You did? R really Really. Because I understood where you were coming from, I knew I had to intervene. At a moment's notice, all you care for could be swept away. At that time, is it better to have wasted your energy hiding away? Or better to have spent it honing your skills so that you can lend a hand? But even if I did train, what's the point? It's not like it would do much good. Don't speak so disparagingly of yourself. It doesn't help things. You have plenty of strengths. No, um, y you think so? Just look how quickly you sprint back to your room, for example. With more practice, I have a feeling you could outrun most anyone. You're also exceedingly talented in the arts. Surely there's a creative way to apply those talents on the battlefield. Stop wasting your breath and energy on putting yourself down. Just try your best. I'm not giving up on you. You have so much power in you, just waiting to be unleashed. You really believe all that? That's so nice. All right. For you, Ingrid, I'll do it. Excellent. Let's be on our way. Hey! Wait! Oh, what are you doing? I didn't agree to this! Put me down! Do you have to be so bouncy? That got us here much quicker, don't you think? Let's begin. Let's warm up by sparring. Oh, stop! Please! I surrender! Giving in so soon? There's no such thing as surrender on the battlefield. No such thing as surrender, sure. Ingrid just dragged her out to train. Well, Bernie's got sports of her own as well, and it seems to be the B sport with Petra that she's managed to build up. 